Hey Warriors, Ricky Mutegi here, and I'm going to present to you WP Snapper, and why I call it a cloning engine and not just a cloning tool. So I think if you watch this video quickly, you're going to realize the power of WP Snapper and how it's going to save you an immense amount of time when deploying your WordPress websites. All right, so first things first is you're going to manage your cPanel accounts. Now, in this section, you're just going to quickly add a new cPanel account by clicking this button, and then once we verify that we can log into it and um, everything's encrypted, it was it's going to end up here where you can manage it later, either view the details or edit it. All right, once that's done, now the next step is you're going to manage your tokens. Now, what I mean by tokens is these are custom uh, replaceable variables that sit inside of your WordPress installation backup file. Now, see, this is why WP Snapper is a cloning engine because it gives you the ultimate flexibility to pre configure any WordPress blog with these custom tokens. And then later, when you're installing it, you can either put in on the fly configurations like site title, site description, your categories, or whatever. Or you can pre-configure them with variables. So if I go down here, you'll see I have my AdSense ID already hooked up, my ClickBank ID, <clears throat> and my, my Amazon Associate ID. Now, let me just give you a little quick glimpse. So here's one of my WordPress websites that are pre-configured and ready to go with WP Snapper. As you'll see, I have my site title here, my site description, my keyword here. But if we dig into the dashboard a little bit deeper, we'll see that we have the site title in here, site description. So let's like look at a plugin. Say we want to configure all-in-one SEO, which is a popular SEO plugin. You'll see I have my site title, my site description, my site keywords. So think about this. When you install with WP Snapper, we're going to hunt down these um, tokens and we're going to replace them with the real data you want in your plugins. So for instance, if I was going to look at my Amazon, uh, my AdSense optimizer, you'll see that my AdSense publisher ID is simply a token. So when I install with WP Snapper, I'm going to find this token and replace it with my real publisher ID. So let's look at the site again. You see that we have site title to site description, nothing's configured, I don't have my Amazon or nothing. Well, all right. First things first, once that's done, okay, we're going to go manage the uploads. All you do is you download our, our, our um, WP Snapper backup plugin, and then you add it to your site. Now, I'm not going to bore you with that, okay? I show you how to do this inside the members area. But all, once you have the plugin activated, and it's pretty much one click, okay? And I'll show you that what I mean right here. So let's go over here, and let's look at the Snapper backup plugin. Now, the Snapper backup plugin will quickly create a backup file for you to download. So all you gotta do is click this once and press the OK button. You let it do let it do its thing. It's it's backing up your database, it's backing up your themes, it's backing up your plugins, it's backing up whatever you have in this WordPress installation. Now you simply just click download your backup, okay? And then you're gonna save it, like say let's save it to our desktop. Let's save it to um, Snapper, okay? Let's just save it over here. So now that that file has everything you need to quickly deploy websites with WP Snapper. So let's come back to WP Snapper's interface and want to click the Manage the Upload button. All right, now all you need to do is click New Upload. Once you click the Upload button, we're going to put a short title so we remember what we're installing. So say this was my ClickBank theme, okay? So I just type that in. And now we're going to select the uh, backup file. So let's, collect, let's, let's select the backup file that I just uh, did right here. And then we're going to start the upload. Now what it's doing, it's taking this snapshot full of your plugins, your, um, you know, everything, and your database, your, your, your files, and, it's in, and in that zip file, it's uploading it to the system under your account. So now as you see, I have my Amazon theme backed up, all pre-configured with these tokens. I have my ClickBank uh, theme, uh, you know, all configured with the tokens. So now you're not limited, okay? This could, this could be any WordPress blog, whether it be your review themes, say your offline client themes, say your just affiliate themes, um, you know, basically, you know, this is going to save you a ton of time. Now, so now over here, we have a custom WordPress snapshot that we would like to see as a finished product and it's installed with WP Snapper. Once that's done, we're going to come back to the dashboard and we're going to do a new install. So we're going to quickly enter a name. So let's say um, this is uh, ClickBank. 
like this is for example clickbank right press ok the website has been added now we're gonna click begin when you get to the installation wizard we're gonna walk you through fast as lightning okay setting up and deploying the website so we're gonna press the continue button now all you have to do is configure it quickly so we're gonna select the cPanel account that we added to the system we're gonna select the theme that we want okay that's those backup files that you use the WP snapper plugin to create so I'm gonna select my Clickbank theme now you have the option do you want to install it on your root or not okay what I mean by that is when you signed up for your cPanel account you have a main domain name to use with your cPanel okay if you have a WordPress website on this then it's not recommended you do so okay now here's where the real power comes now now remember once you have uh, you know a site you know backed up and you have to make a new one now you have to go into cPanel you have to create the database you gotta create the add-on domain or you gotta create the subdomain and then you gotta um, you know then you gotta upload it then you gotta install a script then you gotta go run to the install script you gotta remember your cPanel database details and all that all that stuff well with WP snapper you do not have to do any of that all you do is enter in your add-on domain right here like so, so say you have, uh, you know, say I was gonna put in my rickymateka.com. Okay, what we do now is we check if it's available in your account. Meaning, if it's used, then we're not gonna be able to install the website because we don't want to overwrite data. So for this example, what we're gonna do is we're gonna erase this and we're gonna create a subdomain. So let's say we're gonna create a subdomain on any of my add-on domains. See, when you selected your account here, we quickly we quickly went into your cPanel account and got all your add-on domains. So for your your convenience you can add a sub uh, you can create a subdomain on the fly so let's just call this clickbank one for instance all right and I want to install it on the coin site formula now basically what it does it checks the domains availability once it's available okay it's going to allow you to uh, install so now if it comes back with an error and says that domain is already used it's a safeguard because we don't want you to erase any WordPress settings now I want to put in a password for the website so let's put it in quickly. This is a password to log into your WordPress admin. Now here we go. We are ready to configure the details. Now remember I showed you the custom tokens that you put into your WordPress site. So if you were over here and you looked at because of your settings over here, like say the AdSense optimizer, okay. Remember we have our app, you know, our AdSense right here. Well, in WP Snapper. I was able to manage my tokens and let me just show you quickly what I mean by that when you go manage your tokens you're gonna have your your subset of tokens and you can click new token right and you can add as many as you want or you can remove as many as you want it really doesn't matter you can either put in it you have to put in a name or you can put in a value now if you put in a name and a value we're gonna we're gonna pull it up we're gonna pull it up just like here okay I put in a name and a value if you did not then we're basically we're gonna we're gonna think that you want to configure this for every WordPress website because you know different websites have different keywords especially affiliate websites review websites okay they have different site descriptions site titles companies Clickbank IDs but say you use the same Clickbank ID or you say you use the same Amazon IDs we're gonna want to go under the manager tokens and we're gonna want to be able to um, have this already pre-configured now this is a major time saver when you're installing and configuring your plugins so remember all you had to do was come into your WordPress site set it up once with these tokens as you would have liked it okay uploaded the WP snapper and then you're ready to roll okay so now we're gonna just configure this quickly let's just put like something like dog training dog lovers site keywords say um, dog training dog lovers dog nuts okay <laughs> site description um, let's say I love dogs site title Okay, um, this is a lovely site title here we go company divorce the boss mark and that's my, my company and now I have my Amazon IDs and everything ready to roll. So I'm just gonna put in one more thing because I have a Clickbank plugin in here that gets live when it has a keyword. So I'm gonna put um, just like you know dog or something like that, right? Now I press the save the configurations, right? We're done. We're done with the configuration section. Now we have a short overview of what we're about to do. We're gonna put you know we're gonna install Clickbank One. That coincide formula is gonna be installed on my cPanel account that I manage in my cPanel accounts in this directory, this location. So we just review the information really quick and we press start the installation. 
here we go. It's starting the install. So now remember, it's, it's create. It's well, it creates the FTP. It creates the domain, the the, uh, the subdomain. If it was an add-on domain, it would have created an add-on domain for you, which is just a simply a cPanel domain name. It uploads that backup file. Remember my ClickBank theme? I named it. Right now we check the domain name to make sure that it's available. We're not going to install a website, you know, a WordPress install if we can't access the domain name. Now it's installing uh, the WordPress site. So remember, this saves you time. Whether you have to. You know, you don't have to create add-on domains. You don't have to create your FTPs. You don't have to create your databases anymore. And then it finishes up. So then, boom, we're done. It installed everything, configured all your plugins, put your affiliate IDs in the right places, put your, you know, put your site title, site description, your keywords everywhere. And remember, these are dynamic tokens, meaning that you can have as many as you want, or you can delete them. So you can pretty much pre-configure any WordPress site you would have liked, okay? I mean, for, for any reason, you know, uh, even if it's an authority blog. So now once we're here, we have our details. We can always come back and either just click here quickly to log into our WordPress admin, or we can check out the site. So let's check out the site that we just installed. Okay, remember as I showed you over here that we had site title and site description, and we had our keyword up there, right? Well, if we look back over here now, see, we have the site title, the site description, we have our keywords placed in the right place, and now, remember I told you you can come into WP Snapper and you can um, log into your WordPress admin, so let's click log in really fast and let's see what it did. Okay, once we're in our WordPress admin and it loads up, you're gonna see that we have our settings. So let's look at our all-in-one SEO as I was showing you before. You'll see that now this is configured. This is a lovely site title. I love dogs, dog training, dogs lovers, dogs nuts. <laughs> okay, and um, basically we have everything. Like say our Amazon showcase is a is a custom plugin. I have my Amazon access key, my secret access key. So now think about this. WP Snap is going to save you an immense amount of time. You basically get to pre-configure a WordPress installation. So you basically make a snapper of it with everything that you would like to see it as an end product. You quickly upload it to WP Snapper and you can deploy it over and over and over. So you come to your dashboard and you can do as many as these as you like. All you gotta do is click the new install. So say I was to click the new install, let's say I wanted to install it again. So I'll do a click bank two, okay, just for instance, all right? Press that, the website's been added. We click here to begin. So now we're greeted with the wizard again. Press continue, we're off the roll. Well, you select your keys and everything, but the important thing I wanna I wanna stress here is if we look at the configura configuration details, they're blank again. They're ready for you to install another affiliate site, another review theme, another client site. It's ready for you to put in your data and it will configure this on the fly. So remember, there is no databases, no ads on domains no anything that you have to deal with here you simply use our backup plugin create your backup upload it to the system and then boom you just install over and over and over okay there's no limitation to how many sites you install all right, I hope you see the power of WP Snapper and why we call it a cloning engine and not just a cloning tool. Remember, those cloning tools are a little bit clunky. You have to add your add-on domain. You have to create your database. You have to map your username to that database name. You have to, um, you know, create your FTP. Then you have to upload it. You have to, ins you know, put an import.php script up there. Then you have to run it. Then you have to make sure your database details are correct. And then you have to deploy it, all right? Now, all those steps, okay, are a waste of time. With WP Snapper, you don't have to worry about any of that. Use our backup plugin, upload it to the system, and deploy. You should just be concentrated on running your business. If you need to get up affiliate sites fast, here's your tool. If you need to get your review sites up fast, here's your tool, okay? And you don't have to worry about any of the technical details. And we put it all together within a nice interface where you don't have to remember passwords. You don't have to remember um, your FTP usernames, your databases, and we, we manage everything together for you in a nice interface. So I hope you see the power of WP Snapper and how much of a time saver this tool really is. The options are down below the video. Make your choice and you will be able to save yourself a bucket load of time when creating your sites. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the members area.